Hello and welcome to Better English in Tacoma. My name is Karen and I'm going to be helping you with the pronunciation of the B and P sounds today. Here we have the B and the P in English. Both sounds are made holding your mouth the same way, but one of them uses your voice and one of them does not use your voice. Let me explain. The B sound is made by pressing your lips together, b, 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 and blowing air using your voice, b, b. The P sound is used with your mouth the exact same way, except you will not be using your voice for this sound, p, p, p. Instead, you will feel a puff of air coming out. And if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you'll be able to feel it. Puh, puh. Now to see if you're doing it correctly, try using a candle. When you make the B sound, you won't be able to blow the candle out. B, B, B. But when you make the P sound, you will. P, P, P. So I've given you an example word here with B for back, 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 and P for pack, pack, pack. Let's try some sentences using the B sound and the P sound. Our first one is what we call a tongue twister. The big bear was busy eating big berries off bristly bushes. I'll read it one more time. Try reading along with me. The big bear was busy eating big berries off bristly bushes. Now let's break it down into smaller parts and you can repeat. The big bear was busy eating big berries off bristly bushes. Let's say it all together again. The big bear was busy eating big berries off bristly bushes. All right, now let's try the P sound. And again, remember, with this sound, you don't want to use your voice, only the air coming out. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. This word peck is referring to a unit of measurement. I will read the whole thing together one more time and you can read with me and then we'll break it down into its parts. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. The first part is the name Peter Piper. Please repeat after me. Peter Piper picked a peck picked a peck of pickled peppers, of pickled peppers. Altogether, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And once again, if you'd like to try the candle trick at home, You'll know you're doing it correctly if your candles blow out when you say that sentence. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Better English in Tacoma. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.